The emergence of corporate nationalism around voting light rights laws. And this is this is an assembly of, of, of news links, but hopefully you'll be able to see my point here through this assemblage of news links and how it is that other people are starting to maybe get that clue. They have no, nobody else outside of the freedom is just calling them corporate nationalists. And I, I sure hope that that happens. And if you see this video and you like this video, make sure you share it and share the truth. But this is corporate nationalism that we're, 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 we're observing here, which is very, dare I say, quote, right wing, unquote. This is how the quote left is becoming more right than the right is. It's, it's complicated, folks. It's not just Georgia. More than a dozen other states are trying to take power away from local election officials. This is from the left. That's, their, that's how they, this 538.com. This is how they're, they're, they're branding it. Trying to take power away from local election fish, officials. Or you could word it, trying to protect the American electoral process from becoming a banana republic that has no accountability in which nobody other than the people in power will have any confidence that there is a system with integrity through which they can express their political views, which ultimately is what voting is, in, allegedly, in the American state. Georgia faith leaders to meet today with CEOs over state's new voting laws. This is from WTVY.com. This is insane. These are not faith leaders. These are heretics. These are liars. These are, this is, I, I could say that if, if, you, if you feel that you want to, in the name of Christ, go and join yourself up with anything to do with the DNC. I'm not saying you should join the RNC crowd, but this is a DNC project. If you feel that that aligns with Christ, well, I can't call you a faith leader. And, and I'm not talking about Christians that identify as DNC. I have a lot more understanding of, of rank and file folks than I do quote unquote leaders. Whole other standard when it comes to leaders. Backlash against Georgia's new voter law continues. Today, faith leaders in the Peach State say they're meeting with CEOs of Georgia based. Now, you should really say, if you're really going to be honest, it's, this is, these, are, these are progressive. And progressive Christians are nominal at best. They, they don't even acknowledge the sovereignty of Christ. Many of them don't even believe that Christ was both man and divine at the same time. So I, I, this use of the phrase faith leaders does not. And this is from WTVY.com. So this is, this is a, a local news outlet that is choosing to write a, a straight piece with a lot of of propaganda, agitprop thrown in it. It is intended to make you rather than serve you. This is a dishonest news organization that posts something like this. Uh, but that's not uncommon. Today, faith leaders in the Peach State say they're meeting with CEOs of Georgia-based companies to talk to them to speak up against the law. These same progressive whatevers that have been decrying the power, and I think rightly so, of these mega corporations, these international unaccountable corporations Corporate nationalists are now, because the corporate nationalists are are empowering their interests. Now, when you look at the world, as I do through the reality of power, you're not confused by this. You don't try to understand people through their stated beliefs. You try to understand people through the reality of power. You understand what their vehicles of power are, and it makes a lot of sense, a lot more sense why it is that suddenly the progressives are suddenly pro-corporations and suddenly the Republicans are interested in antitrust laws. Anti-baseball, anti here's a case in point. This is from the Daily Coast, which is one of these rabble-rousing, in, in this is a Marah type uh, organization here. And if you watch all my other videos, you'll know that I mentioned Marah quite a lot because Marah is from the French Revolution, a uh, newspaper man who wrote a lot of incendiary lies to incite people to violence. And I think that's what Daily Coast is doing here. Kerry Elveland is the one that's responsible for this agitprop hate. Senators Mike Lee of Utah, Ted Cruz of Texas, and Josh Harley of Missouri announced an effort to punish MLB by removing its antitrust shield. Lee said the legal exemption had been created from whole cloth by the Supreme Court nearly 100 years ago. Cruz, a perennial huffer, a perennial huffer. You know what huffers are? They, they take in, you know, they, they sniff paint and glue. I mean, that's that's who this guy is. That's Carrie. Good job, Carrie. 
The woke corporations are coming for election integrity. That's what the right writes. And uh, maybe there's a degree. I, I think I'm more aligned with the right on this issue, which isn't always the case. But in this case, I think I am more aligned with them. But I wish that you would say instead of woke corporations, because it's not really about woke. The wokeness is just the conven- the vehicle of power. What it really is is corporate nationalism which I, I, I can almost guarantee you, once they have the corporate national power, they will jettison the woke. And the reason they'll jettison the woke because the woke is an ideology of destroying what is. And once they have consolidated power, they will, they will no longer be interested in the woke, in, the, in what I'm calling their green shirts. The green shirts will have to go. At some point, Rom, Hitler, and Rom parted ways. And uh, the brown shirts disappeared on the night of the long knives. I don't know if they'll have a night of long knives, but who knows? Maybe they will. So it's, it's really about corporate nationalism. The wokeness is just their convenient vehicle of power that they're using now. And then we have hundreds of companies unite to oppose voting limits, but others abstain from New York Times. Notice that abstain. This is moral judgment. New York Times is doing more rabble rousing here where they're, they're trying to socially and morally shame the corporations that are not joining in with the... Uh, with the with the corporate nationalism reuters quote unquote fact check quote rushes to defend democrat hr1 voting bill from the right from newsbusters and then from the left finally from 538 again are ambitious parts of democrats agenda good for democracy or just the democratic party now that that is a very good very good question from you 538 you should sarah good 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 title there sarah and i'll i'll leave it at that there's a little bit taste of what's going on 